hello guys in this video we'll see how to install and configure mysql server 9.4.0 on windows servers but the server version can be 2019 or 2022 or 2025 i'm on 2019 you can verify the same winver see i'm on windows server 2019 but the process is same on all windows server versions okay first go to mysql official website that is mysql.com then click on downloads then scroll down see here we have the mysql community downloads click on it then click on mysql community server then select the version see here we have the 9.4.0 if you are unable to find the version click on archives there you will find all older versions then select the operating system microsoft windows then we have to download this msi installer so click on download then click on no thanks just start my download see download started and its size is 170 megabytes download completed then click on open file See, this application requires latest Visual Studio 2019 redistributable. Okay, click on OK. So, install it. Go to NetApp, Google, and search for download Visual Studio 2019 redistributable. Okay, click on search, click on redistributable, then click on this latest one. then download this exe file download is completed click on this file to install select the i accept the license agreement and conditions click on install close this one now go to here go to downloads then click on this open file now click on next select the i accept the terms in the license agreement checkbox and click on next and i want to install complete so select the setup type as complete and click on install see see completed the mysql server setup user keep the checkbox that is my run mysql configurator then click on finish wait a moment see we got the mysql configurator console click on next this is the data directory location if you want some other location click on this browse button and you can select the path i'm okay with the default one then click on next then we have to select the server configuration type and see here we have the development computer server computer dedicated computer select from this list then tcp port 3306 okay name and pipe if you want to provide name and mem name and pipe or shared memory you can provide advanced option advanced show and if you want advanced configuration if you want to show advanced and logging options you have to select once you selected see here it added the few options okay so select it then click on next now we have to set the password for root account password remember this password later we need this password to connect to mysql server okay then if you want to add the or create the user click on add user then you have to provide all these details later also we can create the user then click on next and this is the name of the service for the mysql server in windows services okay and see here the checkbox start the mysql server at system startup which means whenever windows server is started it automatically starts and run windows services see here we have the standard system account or custom account i'm going with the standard system account then click on next server file for permissions select this radio button that is s grant full access to the user running in running the windows service then click on next and this is the logging options i am going with all defaults then click on next this also next and if you want to create this sample databases you can select the check boxes one okay select them later also you can delete these databases if not required then click on next see ready to apply the configurations so if you want for okay with all the settings then click on execute or if you want to modify click on back and you can edit i'm okay with all the settings then click on execute see applied the configurations okay so, click on next and if you want to copy the logs to keyboard you have to click on this button so click on finish now connect to mysql server go to start then see here we have the mysql folder then click on mysql command line client you can also connect mysql server from the mysql workbench that we will see later click on this mysql 9.4 command line client let me increase the fonts color and size now provide the password of the root account that you have given 
see you have connected to mysql server 9.4.0 you can also verify the same select version see you have installed mysql server 9.4.0 okay now verify the list of the databases show databases see these are the default databases that comes with mysql installation the cycle and world are the sample databases now create a database create database we have created database let us verify the same see new database bank is created now switch to this database and create a table to switch to database we have to run the command use is the keyword then provide the name of the database now if a list of tables show tables we don't have any tables let us create table create table customer We have created table let us verify the same see we have created table customer let us insert some data into this table see we have inserted these rows okay now we will create user first we will list of users show users this won't work but we can get the list of the users by running select user from mysql dot user see these are the default users that comes with mysql installation let us create user create user Whatever is there in singular double quotes, it is the password. Now we face the same. See, we have created user David. Dilla we have connected MySQL server from the MySQL client, MySQL command line client. We can also connect from the MySQL workbench. Download and install MySQL workbench on Windows servers. Okay, go to MySQL.com again. Click on downloads, then scroll down. Come to MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL workbench, then select the operating system microsoft windows then download this msi installer click on download then click on no thanks just start my download see download completed open the file click on next this is the installation location click on next setup type complete and click on next install this straightforward installation see you have successfully installed keep the checkbox that is launch my scroll workbench now and click on finish then see here we have already connection click on press button then provide the name mysql 94 con then mysql is installed on this one then click on then username is selected as root you can provide other user also then click on store in vault to provide the password so provide the password for this user that we have given then click on ok then click on test connection continue anyway click see successfully made the connection then click on ok then click on ok now click on the connection see we have successfully connected and see here we are in administration tab if you want to see the databases or schemas click on schema see here we have these databases okay so we have connected by using both the methods and last option that i want to show you is go to windows run then services dot msc go to mysql 94 see here we have the mysql 94 and the status is running if you want to restart right click on restart if you want to stop select stop or select the service here and see here we have the stop and restart links or we have the stop or restart buttons okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure mysql server 9.4.0 on windows servers okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you